It has an unbelievable effect, almost stronger and more relaxing than any other thing on this list. Don't disturb my friend, he's dead tired. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. For the past several years, I've really, really enjoyed finding the best natural sleep supplements. There's going to be eight supplements on this list and I have huge bags of them. And each bag will probably last me about a year if I took a big dose. And I do want to check out some more in the future. Let me know what your favorites are. Three supplements that work pretty well, but I did not want to include this list is melatonin. To be honest with you, right off the bat, I do, really do not like melatonin. And it's unfortunate because every single sleep supplement always includes melatonin and it's in everything and it's so sad. To me, melatonin is a hormone. The same way you wouldn't want to put testosterone straight into your body and you wouldn't want to put estrogen straight into your body, you wouldn't want to put melatonin straight into your body. Every time I've taken it, I felt weird the next day. Melatonin is 100% not for me. I won't use it and then reishi mushroom that one's supposed to be really really good for sleep but i haven't tested it enough i've used it a little bit and i haven't found too many benefits but it's supposed to be very very good reishi mushroom and then Phenibit, I haven't done a full review on Phenibit yet, but Phenibit is a synthetic version of GABA and it's a really long lasting and actually can induce sleep, but it has a lot more side effects and isn't as natural and easy to take as the other ones, so I didn't want to include those. So those are kind of like the honorable mentions or things that I'm not including and that's why I'm not including them, but let's jump into the top eight here. We'll start off with ashwagandha. Now ashwagandha isn't one that makes me feel really, really relaxed or really, really tired. People say that it can provide that effect. To me, I just feel overall more rejuvenated. I don't really feel relaxed. The one reason that I'm going to include it on this list is because I find that it really helps adrenal fatigue. So when you take it at night, if you're somebody who takes a lot of stimulants, drinks a lot of coffee, you take this at night and you're going to feel a lot more awakened in the morning. And for me, when I was taken, I found that caffeine would be a little bit stronger because I felt like my adrenals were healed. If I was going to include that in um, a sleep blend that I was going to take every day, I would probably just use a somewhat moderate amount, maybe 250 to 500 milligrams, not a lot, but just just something in there to help those adrenals because it's not something that overly relaxes you but something you want to definitely include in my opinion lemon balm now lemon balm is actually one of my top uses because a lot of these supplements have a lot of sedating effects and they're all natural and it feels very good but lemon balm also has a lot of these overall good health qualities if you look it up it has just a whole list of health qualities i feel better when i take it it totally induces drowsiness so i wouldn't take it unless i was trying to relax or going to sleep but i absolutely love it for that it's one of the strongest most well-rounded ones on this list. And if I was gonna give you a top three, I would definitely include lemon balm. And it also increases testosterone in males. So if you're a male and you want something to help you go to sleep, lemon balm is definitely one of the best. I'd probably take a half gram to a gram and a half of lemon balm, depending on how much I was needing it or if I'm mixing it with other things. Tryptophan slash 5-HTP. This one, I remember back in the day, this was a little bit controversial. People joke about tryptophan and turkey making you go to sleep, things like that. 5-HTP is a little bit stronger version of it. Every time that I've taken it, I've always felt a sedating effect, even when I've taken it by itself. And it's something that I would definitely want to include in a sleep blend. You don't need a lot of it, in my opinion. If I was gonna make a sleep blend, I wouldn't need 500 milligrams of tryptophan or a high dose of 5-HTP, I'd probably put like a moderate dose. If I was taking it every day, probably two to 300 milligrams of tryptophan and maybe like 25 to 50 milligrams of 5-HTP just to give you that extra benefit and a lot of these other things work on the GABA receptor. Tryptophan works on serotonin, so it's kind of like another way that you could get that relaxing benefit. Passion flower. Now passion flower is, is another one that I would put in the top three. I find passion flower to be one of the highest relaxing supplements out there. It also has some other health benefits, but I find that it's a little bit more on the sedating, relaxing side versus the extra health benefits side, although there is definitely some health benefits with that one. It just kind of is like a more natural herbal um, tryptophan to me. That's kind of what it feels like. The times that I've combined passion flower with other things just kind of like a real big knockout effect and I really, really like it. Definitely in my top three if I were to recommend them. Valerian root is one that actually pretty much got me into sleep supplements. I had tried melatonin years ago. I really just do not like melatonin. Like I said, melatonin is a hormone. I, do, I just don't take it at night. I know a lot of people gravitate towards it. It's one of the top things that people get. Valerian root was one of the first ones that got me into taking herbal sleep supplements at night. People would argue with me on my valerian root video saying that a lot of people don't find it effective. Valerian root is one of those ones where once I take it after a while, I take a good dose, it has an unbelievable effect, almost stronger and more relaxing than any other thing on this list. Um, I feel like I could sleep less hours and I'm more rested and that's happened 
I can't tell you how many times with Valerian, it's not just one time. You keep taking it every day and that great sleep, it kind of just doesn't seem to happen over and over and over. I would put a little bit of it in a sleep blend every day, but if I was gonna, um, you know, had the choice, I'd probably take a big dose of it every few days and just kind of take it like that because with all these sleep supplements, you're gonna wanna mix them up. You're not gonna wanna take the same things every day. I always mix them up, whether I take a lot of one, a little bit of a bunch of ones, or just a lot of two. I always mix it up because if you take the same thing, it's just not gonna have the same effect in my opinion. Valerian root, one of the best ones, but you can't take it every day. Chamomile extract. Chamomile extract is, this is probably the other one that I put in the top three. So my top three are lemon balm, passion flower, and chamomile extract. Now, everybody's heard of chamomile extract. Everybody's heard of chamomile tea. It has unbelievable health benefits. This is very, very similar to lemon balm. If you look up the health benefits of lemon balm and chamomile, very, very similar. They definitely relax you. They have tons and tons of health benefits. They increase testosterone in men. So it's another one. If you're a guy, you want extra testosterone and you want a sleep supplement, chamomile 100% and lemon balm. They're very, very similar. And it's great because you can kind of change them out. You could take, you know, one of each one, a lot of one, a lot of the other, and you could get a more sedating effect more often by doing that, in my opinion. Now, magnesium. Now, magnesium is probably the one that I would make sure that you take every day. I know I'm not including that in the top three, but that's the one that I would take home the most often. If you look up magnesium, it has unbelievable amount of health benefits. I think that most people who die have almost no magnesium. It totally helps um, relaxation. I would always have heard about magnesium, but nobody had mentioned how relaxing it is. Like if you're freaking out or you're stressed out, you know, you take a gram and a half of magnesium and you're just going to be totally um, a step down or maybe even just knocked out and tired. I had no idea. And I totally recommend calcium, magnesium, and zinc tablets if you're going to get um, tablets of it, just because they all synergistically work together. If you look it up, um, it's just the multiple health benefits and the vitamin D is good, the calcium is good. There's like a dual effect with magnesium and calcium too, I think the magnesium allows your body to use the calcium and they also have a combined effect with zinc. So calcium, magnesium, zinc, but definitely it's just the magnesium that's going to provide that relaxation effect. And then the last one is L-theanine. This one's kind of like one that I wouldn't buy specifically for sleep, but it's something you could use almost all the time. It goes good with caffeine. It has a little bit of relaxation properties. You can take it and just go to sleep. Um, if I were going to use this in a sleep blend, again, this is one that you I'd probably put on the lower side. The normal dose for Theanine, I think it's 200 milligrams. So I would just want to incorporate a little bit of this in there because it does have a very relaxing quality, a very anti-anxiety quality, and a little bit of a sedation quality. These are my best natural supplements out there. You could take these almost every day. Something like melatonin, something like Finibit, they're so much stronger and you have to be so much more careful with them in my opinion and they do so much extra stuff. I'm kind of taking these to go get that real big, you know, sedation, relaxation effect at night. All natural, 100%, like no risks at all. And I do that by kind of switching up each one. I kind of gave you like how I would use them. I would one day want to create a sleep supplement because uh, I've tried all these for so many times. I have kind of an idea of what works and I'm definitely interested in trying some more. So if you have some other natural sleep remedies, I'll be very interested to see down below. These are my absolute favorites. Um, but anyways, guys, we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.